Hey guys, Swagmeister420 here, and today I'm bringing a review, unboxing, setup, and test video for the Omega Super Compressor. The Omega Super Compressor is sold both in the US and Europe, from Airguns of Arizona in the US and in Europe, Gilbert Distributions. As far as I can tell, it is the only affordable home air compressor for paintball and airsoft on the market today. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. The box containing the charger weighs 35 kgs and has dimensions in centimeters of 59 by 34 by 64. The things at the top of the box are everything necessary for maintaining and using the compressor for up to 35,000 hours of use, at which point you will need to buy more lubricants. A quick disconnect hose and a power cable is also included along with a case. Below these you will find a note from the company and a brochure, and most importantly your owner's manual. Now for the compressor itself. The compressor comes with a carry handle at the top, but it is still quite difficult to remove from the box. And I learned that the best way to remove it safely is to slide it out with the box horizontal. Now let's take a closer look at our additional components. The bag is helpful and looks great, but for transportation it is nonetheless mandatory that you keep and reuse the box if you want to transport the compressor safely. Next there is the owner's manual which contains everything you might need to know regarding maintenance and also the warranty details. Included is also this Y-Rent, an Allen key, some tweezers, a grease syringe, and also lots of spare parts, all of which are listed with their uses on page 10 of the owner's manual. Among these spare parts are most importantly burst discs and sealing rings. The metal ring with a blue inner lining is not a spare part and is necessary for attaching the hose to the canister or the gun being filled. Now let's take a look at the compressor itself. On the top front panel there are the on, off, start and stop switches next to the place where you set and adjust your PSI or bars for your canister. Below are all the other preferences such as ventilation and cooling which you set depending on what you're filling. Shown now are the sides and then back from which excess air is expelled. Finally the top. Now for setting up the compressor. First of all, pour in all the provided cooling substances, then top up with non-distilled purified water or bottled water. Or if that's not possible, then tap water until it is full to an inch the top. Now plug in the provided power cable. Next you'll want to make sure that the overcurrent protector is set to reset. Now adjust the notch till your preferred PSI, in my case 3000 for my paintball canister. Now attach the blue ring to the end of the hose. As shown below, it can go either way. Now you are ready to plug your hose into the compressor. Make sure to tighten it well. Your compressor is now up and running. Simply attach the canister and you're done. The fill time for the canister was about 20 minutes, but it varies. Now disconnect the canister and release excess air using the bleed valve. You have now successfully refilled a canister using the Omega Supercharger. Thanks a lot for watching, that's all for today guys, please like, subscribe and comment down below.